Hi, I'm Josh, a solo game developer that goes by the name Mr. Noodler. And today I want to show you how uh, I turn a um, one of these uh, annoying programming problems I always seem to be running into, um, turning a string into a character array uh, that I can use. So I have two basic methods. Uh, so my first method um, I'll show you is um, first to start with a string. A first string equals a first string. Uh, so what I like to do is make a dynamic character array on the heap. So first char array equals new char. Um, a first string dot length plus one. So I'll make it one element bigger than the uh, than the string. Uh, so it's ter uh, terminated by a null character. Um, the reason I do this is because this is not a constant. This string could be any length. And so uh, the, the compiler doesn't like me to have a variable in declaring a new array. So they'd like to have, uh, like to have constant values. So... Um, so for so what I like to do is, is go through each element of the string and copy it over to my character array. It's i equals zero. The i is less than a first string of length. I plus plus. So a first, a first string, we go, oops, I start at zero, and then we go to first char A, oops, should be the other way around, sorry. So first char array, I equals a first string i and then uh, c out first char array i and then uh, so so anyways this is all it will take to print out each character uh, to show that we have moved over, or we have made a copy of each element of the string into the array. Um, so the first char array dot i equals no. So we want to clean it up, and then see out end line delete. First char array. This just cleans up our our memory after we're done using it. I don't uh, you know, just getting a good habit of good housekeeping, uh, getting rid of any leftover memory. So method number two. So this uh, second method, I uh, just set basically I just set the uh, pointer directly to uh, the array. And this uh, to the to the string. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, it works great when you don't have to use the string again. This is a second string. So I'm going to char. Uh, let's say pointer second string equals and a second string 
zero. So that just sends, sets it equal to the address of the string. So C out tr picking string and line. And then we can go pointer second string equals null. Delete pointer second string. Return zero. All right. Should be it. Let's see if it works. Uh, these two different methods. So we get a, f a first string and a second string. Good, works. So let's say uh, before all this, oh, we'll go after this line. All right, you know what? We'll just comment that out. Okay, and uh, go to the next. Let's just try this. For int j equals zero. J is less than a second string dot length. J plus plus. So we'll go C out. Uh, no, we'll do the pointer second string. We'll do uh, J. And then just for, I'm just going to end the line. So this should intuitively, I would think that it would just be completely vertical. And um, yeah, so let's see what happens. First, this is the second string. Oh, well, it does. It does work. Okay, so we'll just go like this. And again. Cool. So anyways, these two methods, um, you can use it. Oh, I'm getting an error here. I don't know what's going on. Missing closing quote. It's right there. Oh, weird. Uh, anyway, so there you have it. Two methods that work and uh, you can access each element. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you find this method uh, useful in whatever project you are working on. And I hope you uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Look forward to uh, hearing from you. Thank you. Have a good evening.